All right, Bear, this is what you wanted. Blueberry, muffin, sausage, kind of corn stick things. Mm -hmm. Topped with a little maple syrup. If you can see that. Got the little corn, corn rises in there. Mmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Did it taste good? Did you have fun? Rock on. You guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, the second batch stuck really bad because I didn't spray them. This is what it looks like. Got some hot water running. Never use cold water on hot cast. Run it like this. Take your little scrubby. Oh, that pan's hot. still hot. And it'll come clean. Just like that. Now dry it with the towel. It's still going to be pretty warm, so it's okay. Just dry it with the towel. Let's go to the stove. Actually, the oven is still hot because we just shut it off. If it was 400 degrees, we'll just set it in there for about 30 minutes as the oven cools down. And what that's going to do is it's going to heat that iron up and it's going to evaporate all the all the moisture that, from, that we didn't get off with the towel. Okay, so after about 30 minutes, I pulled it out and I set it up here. And as you can see, it's all dry. I mean, it's still hot. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of Buzzy Wax. I'm going to take a lint-free rag, which for me is just a piece of uh, t-shirt. And basically just give her a good wipe down. You can use, use your favorite. Whether it's Crisco, whether it's... Buzzy Wax, whether it's Crispy, whether it's just good old canola oil. Just give it a light little coat. That'll go a long way. You don't want to go heavy. You just want to put it on and kind of wipe it off. That's it. Flip it over. Get the back. Now this rag's pretty saturated, so as it as it's running over the hot iron, it's pulling out some of the oils and the wax. And that's it. And then I'll leave it sit and uh, let it cool down, and then I'll put it hang it back up.